Hi, my name is Jeremy Haskell. This is your main jobs report for December 2011 from jobs in ME.com, how Maine gets to work. We're wrapping up another year, and while many of us are filled with anticipation for the holiday season, it's also a time of reflection to look back on the year that was. If you tuned in last month, you know we're making some changes to our monthly jobs report. While we'll still look at the numbers on a quarterly basis, we also want to give you more of the information you need to navigate this new world of work. As you're all too well aware, we're going through a significant change in how we go about the business of work. That's why this month, we want to look at the economy not only on the state and local level, but also look at how the economy has fared nationally over the last couple of years. And what better place to start than December of 2007? At that point, most economic experts believe we entered into what we are calling the Great Recession. And while GDP is a far better economic indicator for such an event, what we're really interested in is how the economy has affected the labor market, both nationally and locally, and more importantly, how online advertising has fared for job openings over the past four years. Let's start by taking a look at the unemployment rate as provided by the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. With our first chart, we're going to look at the national unemployment rate. As you see, there was a steady rise in unemployment from December 2007 throughout 2008, remaining high in 2009. Nationally, unemployment leveled off in 2010, and it looks like 2011 is the first to see a year-over-year -year significant drop in the unemployment rate. Comparing that to the main numbers in our second chart, we see that while there was a steep rise in unemployment, it was more gradual and with a smaller magnitude than we saw on the national stage. It is critically important in this new world of work to not only understand how your economy operates on a local level, but how it compares to the nation as a whole. For a look at how these numbers might affect online employment advertising, we're going to look at the online labor demand report released each month by the conference board. Again, starting in December of 2007, we see that there began a slow yet steady and significant decline in both the total number of jobs posted, shown in blue, and the number of new jobs added, shown in red, as the country moved through 2008. 2009 showed fairly steady numbers and then began an increase in the number of online opportunities in 2010. The second half of 2010 saw a significant increase in both new ads and the total number of jobs posted. Those gains were quickly erased, however, in the second quarter of 2011 and have been on a steady decline ever since. What's interesting now is to compare that with the number of jobs posted on jobs in ME.com during the same time period. Overall, you can see that the numbers essentially reflect the same trends, but there were many more peaks and valleys when looking at a single state compared to analyzing the country as a whole. Once again, while it's critical to remember that every state economy is affected by the national economy, there will always be discrepancies, and it's in those discrepancies where you may find the greatest opportunity. So what does this mean? It means you need to work to gather all the information you can from reliable sources both nationally and locally to make sure you're making the best decisions for your career. Our mission at JobsInME.com is to help the businesses of Maine to find the people they need to be successful and to help the people of Maine to find the jobs they need to enjoy the way life should be. As always, we're interested in hearing from you, so please feel free to comment here on our YouTube channel, find us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to let us know what would help you as you work through your career. And that wraps up the jobs report for December 2011. I'm Jeremy Haskell. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, while we make a living by what we get, we make a life by what we give.